what's going to be important uh, with changing the vibe and changing things for game two? Yeah, no, everything was positive, but we did a lot of good things, obviously. A lot of cleanup as well as the first game. But everything was positive, but we just got to you know, stick to our principles, what we learned in training camp, and, you know, just keep defending, because that's what our team is, you know, built to do, defend. So we just got to stick to our principles and do that, and everything will be fine. I know you mentioned that Kyrie was, like, being like, you're going to get a chance, and you're like, oh, what are you looking forward to? Yeah. Taking him on, taking him on, on different sides, I think, as the opponent. Yeah, obviously, when I first came into the league, I was expecting us to be teammates, but you know, these are the moments that I dream of playing against guys like him. So, you know, I'll definitely go at him whenever he's on me, I'll go at him whenever. So, he's still my brother, but you know, he's my opponent today, so I ain't really worried about you know, anything he got going on right now. So, you know, I just gotta go at him. I know he offered you a lot of advice. Um, you know, just in terms of games, in terms of scoring and so forth. Um, but I guess on the flip side, he was talking yesterday about how supportive you were personally of him when he was going through a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. I mean, you just talked, I guess, how that developed, how that relationship formed, and how you went out of your way to be supportive of him. Yeah, definitely my uh, rookie year. Uh, at training camp, he was taking me on his wing a little oh, bit, but then once the season actually started, we really. Uh, What's up, baby? We really got going, like we really became family, me, him, and Kay. So, you know, at the end of the day, it's more than basketball. So, and he's always supportive of me when I was in rotation. He always, you know, talked to me. You know, just brother vibes, playing the game together. We were just always like, just like a little, like, big brother, little brother kind of thing. So, to me, it's just more than basketball, but today, it's about basketball right now. So, you know what I'm saying? It's about balls. So. Was there, was there some advice he gave you that just still resonates in some way as far as either life or on the court? Yeah, I mean, he's, I mean, Kai's like really, uh, really smart. So he gave me a lot of, a lot of gems. I can't really name one right now. It was all good advice. So, you know, he gave me a lot of gems. So I appreciate him for that. Is there a little extra added juice playing against him with the being his first game against you guys since the trade? Oh no, 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 I don't care. I don't care who's playing. Honestly, it's just, it's just cool to, you know. He was with somebody for two years, my first two years in the league, and uh, you get to play against him. Obviously, you're like, okay, like let's, let's play. But at a juice, no, nah, I'm, I'm worried about more about our team, what we got going on, and I'm gonna just do what I need to do. So it is what it is. Do you guys greet each other before the game, or do you gonna do you hold that off like the friendship side of it until after? I don't usually greet people before a game, but if he comes up, I was gonna do it because you know that's that's like family to me. But if he comes up, I'm gonna do it. But I'm not just gonna go out my way and do it. I'm gonna get him after the game. So and he knows how I am, so he'll, he'll understand. So it's good. You mentioned just the last one. You mentioned the principles from training camp that's gonna be important in this game too. When you look at going up against Kyrie and Lisa, what specifically is kind of going to be crucial? This is our discipline. Uh, don't get too antsy. You know they they're really crafty, really crafty guards. And really good passer, so we can't really get too out of out of place because you know they'll make us pay for it. Whether it's you know our hands in the cookie jar and them drawing fouls on us, or just making the right pass and hurting us with the other teammates. So really, we just got to stay disciplined, just stick to the game plan, just live and live what comes with it. Thank you.